Well, praise God. Amen. We're glad that you've tuned in with Gospel Time Ministries. Hey, we've got a wonderful message for you today. Uh, we're looking forward to get into the service. Amen. First off, we're going to have a song, and then we're going to have the message. Amen. Uh, tune in with us. And also afterwards, we got some very important announcements that you do not want to miss. Amen. God bless you, and we'll see you right after the service. Amen. 
We're thankful for the blood that was shed upon Calvary. The title of this message is The Broad and the Narrow. And uh, I, I thought about these scriptures, and like I said, it's just, uh, just a few scriptures, not many. But go with me to the book of Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Hey, man, glory be to God. I thought we're serving a good God this evening. Thank hey, you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 7. And I believe I want to start with, uh, uh, I guess we will, we will start with verse 13. Hey, Amen. Glory be to God. And the scripture says, Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because uh, straight, uh, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth into life, uh, and few there be that find it. Uh, beware of false prophets, uh, which come to you in sheep's clothing, uh, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Uh, hey, man, I thought as I began to look at these scriptures, uh, Hey, man, glory be to God, I thought there is uh, uh, two ways that a man can go. Hey, man, that is the broad way, and that is the narrow way. Hey, man, I thought many men out there, many women is walking that broad way. Hey, man, there's many that that, uh, that is walking that way. Hey, man, and it leads unto destruction. Hey, man, they think that they can do anything and live any way they want to, and and uh, they, they think that they can go to church on a Sunday morning and go to work on a Monday morning and tell those filthy jokes. Hey, man, well, it just don't work that way. Hey, man, you see, there's many that's on this Broadway. Hey, man, that leadeth unto destruction. Hey, man, and many, it says many there be which go in there at. Uh, hey man, but I want you to notice uh, he said because straight uh, is the gate uh, and narrow uh, is a way uh, which leadeth light unto life uh, and few there be uh, that find it. Uh, hey man, so how do we find uh, that narrow way? Uh, how do we seek uh, that narrow way uh, that Jesus uh, is speaking about there? Uh, hey man, uh, glory be to God, I, I, I thought Jesus uh, uh, said this, uh, hey man, uh, glory be to God, I believe uh, it's in John 14, uh, hey man, uh, glory be to God, uh, in verse 3, uh, and if I go uh, and prepare a place uh, for you, uh, I will come again, uh, Amen, and receive you unto myself, uh, that where I am, uh, amen, there you may be also, uh, and whither I go, uh, you know, and the way you know, uh, amen, just to jump a little bit down, uh, amen, uh, glory be to God, in verse 6, uh, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, uh, no man cometh unto the Father, uh, but by me, uh, Hey, man, can I tell you, uh, glory be to God, that narrow way uh, is through Jesus Christ. Uh, that narrow way uh, is through the blood of the Lamb. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, beside Him, uh, there is no other. Uh, hey, man, uh, it takes Jesus Christ uh, and Jesus Christ alone. Uh, hey, man, uh, glory be to God. Many wants to go that broad way. Uh, hey, man, they want to. 
to uh, Sister Cindy. Uh, they want to say it's all right uh, it, man, to have Buddhism. Uh, it's all right to have Hinduism. Uh, it's all right to have Muslimism. Uh, I guess whatever you want to call it. Uh, hey, man, uh, glory be to God. Uh, but can I tell you, uh, hey, man, there's not many ways to heaven, uh, but there's but one way, uh, and that's a narrow way. Uh, and that narrow way uh, is Jesus Christ. Uh, and Jesus Christ, uh, him alone, amen. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, I hope my, uh, another portion of the scriptures, uh, amen. Uh, glory be to God that speaks about uh, they come in as thieves and robbers, uh, amen. And they want to uh, go in, uh, amen, and take everything you got, uh, amen. But can I tell you, uh, amen, uh, to get into that door, uh, amen, is through the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, to walk that way uh, is in Jesus Christ. Uh, amen. Uh, we got a brother right here that's watching uh, all the way from Tanzania. Uh, amen. East Africa. Brother Paul, you are right. Uh, amen. Can I tell you uh, amen, uh, that we are serving uh, a good God. Uh, amen. And the only way uh, is Jesus Christ uh, and Him crucified. Uh, amen. Uh, Glory be to God, I want you to know, uh, amen, uh, that we uh, must walk that way. Uh, I want to bring out just a few more scriptures, uh, amen. Uh, glory be to God, I want you to know it, uh, amen, uh, what Jesus said here. Uh, he said, beware of false prophets uh, which come to you in sheep's clothing, uh, but inwardly uh, they are raving wolves. Uh, ye shall know them by their fruits. Uh, do men gather grapes uh, uh, of thorns or of figs or of thistles? Uh, amen. Uh, glory be to God. Can I say this? Uh, amen. Uh, that this prosperity preaching that's out there. Uh, amen. Uh, it is nowhere near biblical. Uh, it is a false doctrine. Uh, amen. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, and when you get to the bottom of prosperity preaching, uh, it's nothing uh, but them being hungry for money. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. The only way that God will move is to move in His way. Amen. You see, there's many that's come in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Glory be to God. I thought I thought about this. I, I watched it down through the years. I watched it. Hey, man. I, I thought, uh, Brother Mike, I thought I'm 48 years old. And I thought I was talking to a young preacher today. And I, I thought I'm, I, I, I thought, uh, I, I started preaching at 13. And, uh, and I, I thought I've watched it down through the years. I, I thought, you know, I thought many, many would come in and they look so fine. I mean, they look good. They preach good. They sound good. But you know what? There was a praying on you. You think about that. You think about this. I thought the Bible speaks. The Bible speaks for the church to take care of the widows. The orphans, amen, the Bible clearly states that, amen, glory be to God, and I, I, I thought, you know, amen, <laughs> glory be to God, I thought, my, I thought, you know, and, and then we, we got these television preachers, there's some good ones out there, yes, they are, there's some good ones out there, amen, but, uh, these tell about 80% of them, hey man, they out there for one thing, and that's to prey on people for their money. Come on now. Truth is the truth. They they walk that broad way. They 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 teach one way, but yet they don't live the other. They 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 they're uh, they're 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 double-minded. And the Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Hey man. Glory be to God. I want you to notice that 
He said, Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. I want you to listen to this next verse. Hey, man, I want you to notice what Jesus said. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father. He, man, now we're still talking about the broad way. We're still talking about the narrow way. He, man, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. He, man, we must do the will of the Father. He, man, well, what is the will of the Father? To obey his commandments uh, and to do what the law has, uh, says to do. He, man, to walk uh, according to to the scriptures and according to the teachings of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory be to God. I, I, I thought you know. Amen. Glory be to God. I, I thought there's many out there. There's many out there that's going around and they're saying, Lord, Lord. What they're saying. Huh? Listen to this next verse. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? Oh, come on now. I mean, there's a lot of men out there that's done real good works in the name of Christ. Oh, but what about their life? What about their life? Amen. It says, And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Ye that work iniquity. You see, they're out there, you know, they're saying, Well, the Lord here, uh, I've done this, and I've done that, and, and everything, and, and uh, you know, uh, I've done this good work, and I've done that good work, but yet their lives were full of sin. Their lives was full of iniquity. Amen. So therefore, that's the reason why that Jesus said to do the will of the Father. Oh, broad is the way. Many's going to walk that broad way. Oh, they, they sound like it's real good. I thought... I thought I, I, I know I know a, a, a man right now, and he's a good man. He'll he'll take his shirt off his back to help anybody. I mean, he thinks what he's doing is good enough, and that what he's doing to treat people right and everything like that is going to get him into heaven. Wrong, wrong. I want you to know you can have good works. But those good works alone will not get you into heaven. You must know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. You must be born again. And if you're not born again, hey, man, those good works ain't going to do you a dime's bit of good. You must be born again. You must have Jesus Christ in your heart. That narrow way is Jesus Christ. That narrow way is obeying the Scriptures. Amen. I want you to listen. And then I will profess unto them I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken unto him a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended and the floods came 
and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not for it was founded upon a rock and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall Praise God. Exciting things are happening with Gospel Time Ministries. Amen. We are thrilled about what is happening. Amen. I tell you what, God is blessing more and more. Uh, first of all, we'd like to say that uh, we're thankful that Brother Israel Davis has come on board with Gospel Time Ministry. He is now our Vice Bishop. Amen. Uh, we're, we're getting things under goal and undergoing with Gospel Time Ministries. Now, Gospel Time Ministries is also ordaining ministers. I'm, I'm talking to the ministers that's in America. We are ordaining them. Amen. Uh, ministers, uh, listen, listen, ministers, pastors, evangelists, teachers. <clears throat> I'd like to tell you, if you've been hurt in church, if you've been hurt by some kind of a church organization, then I, I would like to tell you that uh, Gospel Time Ministry is out for the hurting ministries. The ministers that's out there that's hurting. Amen. Amen. Uh, the the pastors uh, needs to have a place that they can run to for safety. Amen. And we feel like that we can help you in this situations that you're in. Amen. Glory be to God. Now, at the same time, there is also young ministers out there uh, in America, here in America, that I want you to know that there's some young ministers out there if you feel led of coming along the way and you hear us uh, on facebook or on youtube if you hear us we want you to know that we are offering our handout for you for fellowship well what is gospel time ministries is it a church organization no we're not no church organization by no means uh, we we are simply a fellowship Simply a fellowship of, of ministers, a fellowship that recognize one another as a church and as the way that God has ordained us to be. Amen. Well, what about ordination papers? Does it consist of going to a Bible college or a Bible seminary uh, to, to uh, obtain these ordination papers? By no means. No, no, I will rephrase that, no. What is the qualifications to a pastor? What is the qualifications to a minister? Uh, the qualifications of a minister is uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3. 1 Timothy chapter 3. You must read that. These are the qualifications of ordination or a minister. Uh, you know, I, I, I've often got into uh, uh, into looking at church organizations and they say, well, our qualifications is this, our qualifications is that. Well, you know what? Uh, uh, I'm not worried about what the church organization says that the qualifications are. I'm worried about what the qualifications are according to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. And and, and so, therefore, uh, you know, there's certain things that we have to look at according to the scriptures, and we will go according to the Word of God. We also require our ministers to be with the King James Version. Amen. Uh, we, we feel like that is the unadulterated Word of God. Amen. I'm glad I can talk good this evening. Amen. Glory be to God. Now then, a little bit more about what's happening 
with Gospel Time Ministries. And, and number one, number one, is that we've been on Facebook for 12 years or longer. Uh, we've, we've been on YouTube about the same amount of time as Facebook. Uh, and we are starting to branch out within the ministry of television. Uh, Brother August Francis a Restoration TV has uh, reached out to us. We reached out to him both ways. And uh, Brother August has a, a church there in Texas. Amen. Forgive me if I'm saying this wrong, but it's in Beaumont, Beaumont, Beaumont. I, uh, I, I say it wrong every time. But anyhow, he's in Beaumont, Texas. Amen. He's got Restoration Church, and then he also has Restoration TV. Restoration TV is on Roku TV. If you got a Roku device, then you understand what I'm talking about. Amen. You go right into you go right into Restoration TV, and when you get into Restoration TV, it goes into the heart of the Master. Amen. Now then. With uh, after we get ten videos or more posted up, in in within the heart of the master, then from there, then we'll have our own channel. It's called Gospel Time Ministry Channels, Amen. But first, we got to get the videos up. Well, does it cost anything? Well, it costs money for Brother August to have Restoration TV on Roku. Yes, it does. It costs a little bit of money, Amen. Uh, what, what's the price range uh, uh, to be on uh, Roku? Amen. We feel like that uh, Brother August has given us a good amount price, the reasonable amount to get on uh, Roku. So we're, we're thrilled about this. Amen. Now, I want you to pray about it. I do want you to pray about this. If you feel led of helping Gospel Time Ministries out, then we would appreciate your help. Amen. We're not asking for no big money or something like that. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars a month. Hey, that would help us out quite a bit. It would also help Gospel Time Ministries out to reach out and to touch those that's hurting and that needs help. Amen. Now, now then, uh, how do we donate? How do we donate the money? Amen. First of all, first of all, I want you to tell you that we that you can donate through PayPal. Go to PayPal, and at the end of this uh, recording, at the credits, then we will have the PayPal account on the on this credit. Amen. That you can get into. Amen. And once again, it'll be on the end of this recording. <coughs> now then, uh, uh, you can also go on uh, on uh, Facebook. You can go on the Messenger, and you can donate that way to help us out. Amen. Uh, and then, and then we also have one more source that you can also help out with Gospel Time Ministries. Uh, and and I, I would like to also say if you partner up with us, then uh, by, by the help and the hand of the Lord, then we will be producing a monthly, mag a, not a magazine, but a monthly news report that's happening in uh, Gospel Time Ministries. Amen. Glory be to God. Now then, there's one more way that you can support Gospel Time Ministries. It's within this book concerning the shepherd and the wolf. Amen. You know, we have always wondered who has lived behind the Word of God or just was there to get your money by the way of false pretense. In this book, I have tried to bring out the biblical outlook of knowing the difference between a true man of God and a hireling. You know, all the scriptures in this book is King James Version. 
Amen. So therefore, how are we to wonder who is telling the truth and who is living behind the truth? I've tried in this book, in this small book here, about 75, 75 pages long, I have tried to outline knowing the differences between a shepherd and a false prophet, a, a shepherd and a wolf. Amen. You see, because we got so many wolves out there that's in sheep's clothing. They're out, out but for one thing, and that's to uh, fill their pocketbooks full of money. Amen. Glory be to God. But we're thankful. Once again, at the end of this, uh, there be credits at the end as to where, how you can pay, and everything. I would like to say this book is available on Amazon.com, Walmart.com. Uh, it, 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 it varies uh, within the uh, range. You can find it on uh, eBay. You can find it all over the bookstores online. And also, for those that has ebook, it's also in the ebook form. Amen. All you have to do is look it up in the ebook form. Amen. Well, we're thankful that you have tuned in with us. We're thankful that you have reached out to us. Amen. We thank everyone for the listeners that is listening to us on Facebook. We come live three times a week, amen, Sunday morning, Sunday evening, Wednesday evening, amen. We try to come live on Facebook. If we're not able to come live, then we will post it up in our Gospel Time Ministry page on Facebook, amen. Glory be to God. We're serving a good God. I, I, I don't know. I've just got that preacher on me today, amen. So, uh, you know, let, let us go to prayer. Amen. If you have a prayer request, hey, uh, let us know on Facebook. We will be praying for you. Amen. Whatever the problem may be, God's able to touch you. Let's go to prayer, and then we will end uh, this service. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come before you through the blood that was shed upon Calvary. Lord, we pray that you will touch Lord, we pray, Lord God, as they pray with us, Lord, we ask that you will direct their hearts as to how to help us. Amen. Glory be to God. We thank you and we magnify your holy name. Lord, for those that are sick, for those that are sick, Lord, I pray that you would touch their body right now from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Lord, reach down your hand and touch them. In the name of Christ, we pray. Amen.